temporary voters approved Medicaid expansion in the state, but the legislature did not fund it. Now the issue goes to court this week. 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts here in the studio to explain how we got here and what's next. Jordan? Yeah, tomorrow is a very big day in the state of Missouri. The, the hearing on Missouri's Medicaid expansion lawsuit was set for Friday, but the nation's new Juneteenth holiday had the courts closed, and that means this big hearing is happening tomorrow. Last August, 53% of voters in Missouri voted in favor of Medicaid expansion. It allows anyone from 19 to 64 years old to be eligible for Medicaid. There's only one in Income requirement. You must make less than 138% of the federal poverty line. And for a single adult, that means just under around $18,000. For a family of four, it's around $37,500. But under the Affordable Care Act, the federal government did agree to pay 90% of the cost when it comes to the expanded coverage. The state of Missouri would be left to pay that other 10%. But last month, the General Assembly declined to provide funding, and the legislative session, it ended. So a lawsuit has been filed saying you you need to follow through on what the Missouri voters ordered you to do. They set the direction for this and you have to follow their instruction in the uh, state uh, in the attorney general's arguments basically saying no we don't have to because it's up to us to make the decision about the appropriation of money to pay for it. I hope that judges would try to give a lot of weight to the idea that the votes of the people should count for something. That if the people of Missouri, put, and Missouri is a, you know, a conservative state, but nevertheless, they did pass this measure that they wanted to expand this. Three Missouri residents filed a lawsuit against the state to push the expansion forward. But until that matter is settled in court, which starts tomorrow, thousands of people will be left without health care. The goal of the lawsuit is to get Missouri to expand the program and allow newly eligible people to start enrolling on July 1st. In the studio, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News.